Hi Scorpio, welcome back. This is your extended reading for your Oracle of Love segment, having a look to see how your relationship will be together when you come um, together with this person. Also any obstacles that lay ahead and what they're wanting from you. So let's have a look. Six of Swords, Six of Wands, the High Priestess, Seven of Swords, King of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles and the Hermit. Okay, starting off with the Six of Swords. I feel as though this person is wanting emotional growth. I definitely feel they're a person of value. Um, as I said, they have a high care factor, um, empathy, um, and, and showing sympathy to other people and tuning into their emotions and thoughts. So I really feel like having this relationship is no, um, no exception. I feel like they want to be in the boat of life with you. They want to journey through life and experience life lessons with you. I feel like they learn better if it's with their other half. So this is quite, um, sorry about that, this is quite um, quite a beautiful connection. I feel like they want to be journeying with you. Um, this could also be physical journey. So if this is like a long distance relationship for some of you, I feel like they're wanting a relationship where you're closer together. This is closeness. This is journey of life, possibly living together as well, traveling together. This is how your relationship will be. But I really love how you'll emotionally, things will settle down for you with this person. You know, I don't feel as though there'll be much to worry about, um, to be honest. I do see that this person will devote a lot of their time to you um, because they'll, they'll, they'll nurture this attachment that they have to you absolutely with the Six of Swords. Um, because moving on, the Six of Wands, very nice cards actually. This is success, overcoming any challenges. Having the support of people around you, friends, family members. This is a relationship that's going to be very important for yourself and to this person's life. And I feel like you have the acceptance or you're being embraced by the people around them. So if this is in-laws, parents, in-laws, um, family members, friends circle, you know, coming into this person's life, I feel like with the six of ones, you're definitely going to make a very prominent um impression a very good impression it might be a little bit rocky to start for some of you but eventually you will succeed because a six of wands follows challenges follows obstacles or hurdles and you're coming into conquest because you've got a wreath of victory so it was all well worth it so to speak this could be a very beautiful connection here with the six of wands Moving over, you have the High Priestess. I feel for some of you, there's definitely a child that will result from this relationship because the High Priestess is often seen as pregnant. She has the seeds of fertility in the form of the pomegranate fruit behind her. Um, there is an engagement possibly or commemorating your union through an engagement or a traditional or religious ceremony of some kind here. The High Priestess is seen as someone that is very expert, um, has expertise or knowledge in um written scripture, religion, so this could be like being ordained by a priest, for example, but I feel like this is minister, uh, like a minister could be actually getting the two of you engaged, getting the two of you married with the high priestess here. So there's massive reveals, Re massive reveals, revelations, um, epiphanies that occur within this relationship for both you and this other person. This is why the high priestess is sitting in between the two of you and you've come up as the two pillars here. So you're being brought together here. Spirituality, faith, religiousness or, or, or intuitive ability will somehow strengthen your relationship here. But there's definitely a lot of reveals and surprise revelations here. So for some of you, it could definitely be a pregnancy um, that's taking place here with the high priestess here. But lots of reveals. Um, as I said, learning about yourself, This is you're going to be doing this relationship differently here, um, Scorpio. This is something I guess you're not really used to and you won't see coming with this sort of energy here. Um, next, card are you, next card over, you have the Seven of Swords. In terms of obstacles, I feel like the, your biggest obstacle in this relationship so far will be communication. And that sometimes, because it sits on top of the Hermit card here, sometimes this person is too either self-critical of themselves or self-critical of the relationship. So I'm not sure if this is you, um, Scorpio, if... This is going to be instigated by you or the partner or you both have insecurities on some sort of level that will come into play here in the relationship. But this is what's going to create distance between the two of you. The Seven of Swords is someone who keeps something from someone else. 
It could be a little bit of deceit actually for some of you. You may encounter deceit from this person or they won't be telling you everything that you want to hear or they won't be telling you everything that they need to tell you. I feel like they may tiptoe around certain things to avoid conflict or avoid confrontation. I see that they like things balanced and they like harmony. They don't like when things fall out of um, routine too much or when emotions become too heightened, especially bad emotions. So I think this is why they keep certain things from you, Scorpio. In essence, I feel like they're doing you a favor and not harming you, but really they are if they're keeping things from you because swords is all about communication and this person is treading lightly, not trying to gain your attention in any way with the wrong amount of communication with the Seven of Swords. I think this is where your obstacles um, are. The King of Wands is impulsive energy. Um, I really feel like you'll have a very good sex life, however, which is really nice to see. The Wands cards have come up very nicely here, so I do think it is your um, desire that's bringing the two of you together. You'll definitely have a very intense flame here of burning love. Um, but the King of Wands really does represent movement, superiority, or dominance sometimes. It could be bossiness even, anxiousness. I feel like this is a person that wants to be doing a lot. And when they're not seeing a lot done for themselves or for the relationship, they, they tend to get a little bit anxious or a little bit edgy. But for the most part, the king is a good energy to have. It is movement. It is action. It is progress. Um, but sometimes things will be um, half completed. And then sometimes they'll be full completed. So I, I think it's almost like seeing things through to the end, if that makes any sense at all for any of you. Six of Pentacles, as I said, this person is quite generous, um, believes in equality, believes in helping other people. I feel like sometimes this person gives more or you might give more in this relationship. I think it's them. I think that's perhaps they're compromising more than you. And this is where sometimes they'll approach you about it, not really knowing how to articulate themselves maybe with the Seven of Swords and express to you how they feel because they want equality. So they want reciprocity. They want you to do the same thing. They're all up for doing things for you and going above and beyond, above and beyond for you, but they need to see it in return here, Scorpio. And if you can't give them that, um, they're going to withdraw because I see they're a person that, that, that withdraws, um, that withdraws when things aren't going. It's all about distance. So again, I think your obstacles here is this person distancing themselves away from you if they don't receive what it is they're after. And they're definitely after care, generosity, devotion, commitment. And they want you to, they want to see that you know when they're upset and that you can read them enough to know when they need your help and they need your nurture and they need your affection is what I'm seeing with the Six of Pentacles. But there's definitely a lot of generosity here, which is really nice to see. But sometimes it's one-sided rather than um, reciprocated. Next cut over the Four of Pentacles. They are quite codependent with the Four of Pentacles. Um, again, when they're invested in something or someone, especially in this relationship, I can see them clinging on to it quite um, quite strongly here. Interesting that it sits next to the Hermit though. So I do think there's an element of sometimes they can be very withdrawn in, with their emotions. I feel like if there's something not going right in the relationship, they withdraw and distance themselves and then you're sort of left guessing what's going on here, Scorpio. So sometimes I almost feel like you'll be scratching your head going, well, did I say something wrong? Did I show too much? Or did I not show enough? Or did I say too much? Did I not say enough? Sometimes I feel like there's this person is so closed off when they're upset that it's hard for you to read. It's hard for you to know what offends them and what doesn't, which is what I'm seeing with the Four of Pentacles. But I also feel like they're quite a protective person. They definitely protect the bonds that they have in their life. Um, and your relationship is absolutely no exception. They'll hold very near and dear to them is what I'm seeing with the Four of Pentacles. Um, moving on to the Hermit card, the last card of how your relationship will be and any obstacles. I did mention self-critical behavior. This is self-sabotage or self-critical behavior. The Hermit is has all the time in the world to think and he's ruled by Mercury, so he rivals his air signs. But he's very much in his head and sometimes he acts with logic and reason rather than with heart and compassion. So what I'm seeing here is that there's a lot of insecurities that are, that are going to come with this person or they're going to create unnecessary insecurities. 
to protect themselves. You know, this is all about protection. The hermit is the guardian. He's the gatekeeper. He's the protector. He's the medium. He's the portal to get from one to another. And I see that this person is very protective over their emotions at times. And this can cause obstacles. But I also feel like this relationship, there's going to be a lot of analytical... Like, I feel like the two of you will be deciphering your actions together. Like, why did he say that? Or why did she say that? Or what does this mean? Like, I feel like you'll be doing a lot of soul searching and replaying of conversations because you're determined to get to the truth is what I'm seeing with the hermit card. But again, it's protective energy. I feel like you have, you've got a protector. This is the protector here that's coming up for you. Let's look and see what they're wanting. They're definitely wanting reciprocity. Okay, it definitely has to be a two-way street for them with the two, two of pentacles, five of swords, queen of pentacles, and the four of wands. Okay, two of pentacles. You know, this is about cycles. This is about choice. This is about decision-making. I feel like if this is what they're wanting, they want, they want you to be able to juggle a lot, juggle all their perfections all their imperfections everything they're going to throw at you they want you to juggle and they want it to be a harmonious cycle you know this is someone that wants a long-term relationship here they want to make it work they do you know that the ship is also protection i feel like the two of you are involved in your own little cycle in your own little world here so i feel as though this person doesn't want other people to get involved friends family or anyone on the exterior they're not wanting that in fact that's going to make them withdraw um, next cut over is the five of swords they never want to have a conversation where you end up angry or sad with each other they'll always pick up where you left off um, they'll never I don't they're not someone to hold a grudge and I think if they're wanting this in the relationship they're wanting you to pick up the pieces and talk out any obstacle or challenge or disagreement or fight or confrontation that the two of you have together because they're all about resolutions I think they have air energy somewhere in their chart of Virgo energy because they're quite analytical and they like problem solving. They're a very curious mind and they're quite analytical. And if this is what they're wanting, then they're wanting you to be able to pick up the pieces and continue on and heal with words, with conversations, with expressions of thought, etc. Moving on, the Queen of Pentacles, they are wanting stability. They want something beautiful. They are wanting affection is what I'm seeing here. And they are wanting beautiful growth. They want to create wonderful memories. The Queen of Pentacles is um, the Queen of Memorizing. Ah, sorry, is the Queen of Manifestation. So she memorizes. She enjoys through the five senses. This person wants to indulge in your love in whichever way, um, and this can be excess. So like excess love making. Um, quite an intensity here, but I, I really like what she represents. I definitely feel like someone wants the real deal. They want to settle down. The Four of Wands is seen as the marriage card. Engagements, marriages, weddings, buying that family home. You know, there's an asset here. So for some of you, this person is wanting to move in together, wanting a civil relationship in the eyes of the law or maybe in the eyes of religion, in the eyes of God. They are wanting some sort of union here to commemorate your relationship together. So I really love what this represents. This person will celebrate your union if you're good to them. If you match them in what they're offering you, Scorpio, they can give you a very nice relationship, one that's filled with joy, one that's filled with bliss, one that's filled with emotional goodness, one that's filled with surprises, one that's filled with open lines of communication. So there's really a lot of things they can offer you, a lot of areas um, of strength that this person has and that they can offer you in terms of love. But like I said, the most important thing to them is that this is reciprocated. Because this, this is what they're after. Um, I will leave it at that though, Scorpio. Wonderful reading. I hope it's been enjoyable. Thank you so much for purchasing and watching. And hopefully we'll be in touch very soon. Bye for now. Take care.